the Mormons are pretty clearly an offshoot of Christianity that has a great deal in common with Islam. It's just a number of centuries later. Mormonism might have become Islam and might still perhaps if it can, let's say, I don't know, take charge of the American government and use American military power to um, to bring Mormon teaching throughout the world. Now, there are issues with that. There's lots of issues with that. But if you get a sense of C.S. Lewis in his um, in his answers to Shel- his letter to Sheldon Van Auken talked about the fact that in in some ways Christianity is universalized Judaism, which there's a lot of truth to that. Um, and he says in some ways Buddhism is simplified Brahmanism. Okay, and then he says Islam is in some ways simplified Christianity. And so if you look at Tom Holland's In the Shadow of the Sword, there's a lot of fringe. Tom Holland basically says, if you look at what put Islam together, there's a lot of the stuff that was pushed to the fringes of the late antiquity Christian church stuff you know, the, the their particular brand of monotheism and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff at the fringes that then basically comes in. And so in some ways, Islam is simplified Christianity and Judaism. And the Mormon church, the LDS church, in many ways is sort of simplified, streamlined 19th century folk Christianity. Because if you look at the burned over district in upstate New York, where a whole bunch of groups came out of, You know, the LDS church is one of the churches that really took off. Now, of those churches that left the burned over district, you've got Seventh-day Adventists. Seventh-day Adventists are already well on the way to becoming part of the Christian mainstream. And in many ways, they already have. You've got the Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, they're still sort of out there. But if you look at Jehovah's Witnesses and Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and Islam, there are interesting similarities between all of them, even though Islam is from a very different part of the world in a very different century. 